Hey guys, I'm Adrian from Campbelltown. I'm an accredited exercise physiologist, and this is my patient today, Demi. Uh, so today we're going to just show you guys how to uh, do a hip hinge. Okay, so I'm going to give uh, a little demonstration, and I'm going to show you some cues using Demi as my patient. All right, so first things first, I want to try to use like a nice, nice bench around knee height, uh, knees up against the bench, hands by side. The biggest thing with a hip hinge is we want to push, break out our hips, break through our hips. Okay, so pushing our hips back, almost like we're going to pick something up. Okay, and then coming through with our hips. Okay, and then back down. Uh, so this is a, another variation of our manual handling technique. Um, so I'll get get them to demonstrate and talk about a few cues that we need to look for. Okay, so first thing first, we want that spine in a nice neutral. Position, okay, keeping those shoulders back the whole time. Okay, as you can see here, she's breaking with her hips. Uh, so we want to keep those hips uh, breaking first and that spine in a neutral position. Uh, so that's where, where the most biomechanically stable. Uh, so this exercise is great. It's working out our hamstrings, our glutes, and all our back muscles. Plus, it's teaching us an efficient way of picking, picking items off the floor. Um, particularly uh, when we're lifting up heavy items. All right, thanks, Demi. Okay, so that's just a quick breakdown of the hip hinge. Uh, if you have any other questions or queries, uh, feel free to come into one of our studios at Optimum and um, can sort of run you through a quick, quick look at the hip hinge. All right.